but like for anal all day like, i could probably do you can do anal. A- you could do double anal i could probably do double anal sometime in the future wow that's uh impressive thank you perfect 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 how's it going Great. How are you? Good, good. I'm um, Javi Mack. I'm here with Adult DVD Talk, Living the Dream. Thanks to Spiegler. And I'm here with Whitney. Hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the first question, obviously. Um, you kind of got stumbled into, like, you, you were impulsively started stripping mm-hmm. and then started doing that and then kind of impulsively went into you know, porn, Mm -hmm. like kind of tell us about that journey. Um, well, I had a pretty sheltered childhood and I was in a private Christian school from kindergarten to my senior year. So when I got out of all of that, I just really wanted to try everything. Mm. So I think that combined with always kind of being impulsive by nature, it just kind of sprung me into uh (laughs) whatever was out in front of my path (laughs) right 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 so then um that makes a lot of sense so what's the most impulsive thing that you've done lately um oh lately um (laughs) well gosh lately i guess not really anything which is weird for me but um yeah, lately it's been more um, just focused on my work and okay. directing and everything. Oh, so cool. So it's uh, so it's like serious Whitney time. Serious so Whitney time. Get it together, or bring it, bring it all in, getting ready for award season and everything. So you're directing. Mm-hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I am directing for Missa X and her sister site, which is um, all girl. And it's called All Her Love, so I'm directing for both of those. And I also direct for Gamma's new series, Lesbian Revenge. So the Lesbian Revenge. Mm-hmm. So that's really exciting. How do you? So when you're so being so, how do you get into the director mode? Like what? Like what makes a great director? Obviously, you know a bunch of great directors oh, and yeah. a bunch of what makes a great director and what makes a bad director. Um, I think what makes a great director is when you have a director that listens to the talent, that is respectful of the talent and the crew and everyone's time and treats everyone else with respect and are kind. (laughs) I think that's really important because um, I remember even way before I was directing and I was performing, if I was doing any kind of, um, whether it be gonzo scene or a scene with a bit of dialogue or acting intensive, something that would always really help me out personally is hearing the director be like, cut, okay, this looks great, this looks amazing. Just like hearing words of feedback um, during cuts or whatever, or your acting is so good, that's exactly what I wanted to convey. Um, or like you're doing perfect, just little things like that will just, I feel like it makes the performer want to work harder and it makes them proud of what they're doing and what they're, um, the performance that they are putting out there. So I think that's really important because when you have someone who's proud of the work that they're doing and they know that it's looking great and that people are going to like it, then they get excited. They want to do a great job. Everyone's happy. What makes you most excited when uh, doing sex work? Um, I like that I have the freedom to choose and that I have the freedom to like make everything happen for myself. Um, this is obviously something that I got into kind of on a whim, but it's worked out really great for me. And sometimes, I mean, not sometimes even, a lot of the times I see you know, from the outside world or mainstream, some forms of negative connotations f- of the industry. But I, I've i had a great experience. I think, like, in any industry, there's, you know, some things that are bad. But right. I also feel like me doing this has opened up 
doors for me and given me opportunities that I don't think that I would have gotten if I hadn't gotten into the industry and, you know, made it happen for myself and worked my way up. And Like what, what opportunities have you been getting? Um, I mean, like the directing thing, right. really. Right. Like I, I wouldn't have directed anything if I didn't <laughs> like get into the... Uh, <coughs> oh, bless you. Didn't yeah. get into the industry <coughs> and come back, come out to uh, L.A. I don't think I would have gotten that. I probably would have still been in Oklahoma. But um, I got that, and then I've been, like, working towards that. And when those things started coming out, then I had people approach me and ask me to also direct for them. So I think that um, those opportunities just presented themselves with me being in the industry and choosing the path that I chose to take. So now you said something about you get to choose what you want to do. You get to choose what you don't want to do. What have been the things that you're like, you chose like, Oh, I'm super excited to do this. And then other things where you're like, Oh, hell no. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think like choosing to do, I mean, get into the industry and then go to like, the events and stuff um that's all been a choice and that's all came with the territory i guess you could say um basically everything that i've done has been oh i'm excited to do this and i want to do this um especially like with the whole acting side of things i love features and being in like dialogue intensive like 16 hour days like i i love those uh -huh. um the things that I haven't been too jazzed about, I've never really had to do anything that I, I mean, I've never done anything that I didn't want to do. Um, there have been days where I'm like tired or I'm like just, just recovering from like a cold or something and I've been on set and that's, you know, what it is that people go through every day in their normal jobs that right. you just like get through. But uh, yeah, there's th just like the things that I don't want to do, I don't have to do and I think that's the beauty of it all like I don't want to do triple anal so I don't have to ever if I don't want to you know <laughs> and like if if like other girls don't want to do certain sex acts then they really don't have to they could just do one thing for the rest of their career and that could be it like right. it's kind of like you choose your own adventure kind of thing right right what's uh what's the next adventure that you haven't done on camera that you're looking forward to do mm. I don't know. I I've done a lot um, on camera. I guess th if there was, I don't think I could ever do like a double vag or anything like that. But um, why is that? It's just too intense. Yeah, it's just too intense for me. Yeah. Um, and sometimes, like depending on the performer, even just one in there is like. Uh, is it? It's tight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. It's had some, it's been met with some, like, resistance with, like, the, <laughs> so the performers who are a little bit more, like, endowed, but, uh, right. but, like, for anal, all day. Like I could probably do you can do anal. You could do double anal. I could probably do double anal sometime in the future. Wow, that's, uh, impressive. Thank you. Well, how did, how did you ease up to the double anal? Uh, well, I haven't done it yet. Um, I mean, how did you, like, have you done it personal life? Uh, no, 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 not even that. I've stuck, like, two, like, fairly thin, uh, dildos in there at the same time. Mm. And then, um, I did an anal scene with Dread, so. Which, it explains, his name is Dread, so yeah. it explains how big, yeah. how well endowed he is. He is, <laughs> yeah, so after that I was like, I could do double anal, no problem. Like, so how do you get so comfortable, because a lot of girls can't even do anal you know mm -hmm. how do you ease into making your you know anal relax that much to feel comfortable to do it yeah. yeah um i think it's just about like knowing your body and you know like starting out with what you're comfortable with and then working from there at your own pace you don't have to start like with something like the size of my thumb and then in like a week get to that or something like right. you can do it at your own pace slow at your own pace yeah and i think um if it's something that you want to be good at i feel like you can eventually get there because 
I mean, unless there's a, like a medical issue that you can't, like that area will stretch, like for sure. And it and it just um, the more I did anal, like the more anal scenes I started doing after my first anal, the easier it got for me. Right. And then it got to a point where like um, now. I used to have to like stretch before an anal scene, and now I don't even have to stretch. So it's like, oh, yeah, easy peasy. Easy peasy. I'm easy. like, easy. They're like, do you just need to stick stretch? it in? Yeah, and I'm like, nope. Let's do it. I'm ready to go right let's now. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> just stick the dig in. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I guess that's it. Awesome. Can you tell us where we can find you? Yes, I am on Twitter as. Whitney Wright X, and I'm on Instagram as Whitney Wright X O. Okay, cool. And spell spell that for it, cause you have a W in. Yeah, yeah, I do. It's um, so Twitter. Um, my last name is W R I G H T. So it's Whitney Wright. Whitney Wright X Twitter. Whitney Wright X O Instagram. <laughs> Boom. Let's get it. And I'm Javi Mac here with Adult DVD Talk, living the dream. Thanks for watching here. Thanks to Spiegler and all the Spiegler girls. Thank you. And I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>